guys, welcome back. First of all, yes, I am filming in a different spot. Long story short, fall and winter lighting is just kind of a struggle and this is where I was getting the best lighting. Second, I did film this makeup look today, so that should be up probably within the next few days, so definitely look out for that. But today I'm finally going to be doing my review on the new-ish Makeup Forever Artist Rouge lipsticks. I know these have been out for a little while, but after they'd been out, I actually received a PR package from Makeup Forever that had six of the shades in it, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today and trying on for you and everything so you can see what they look like on the lips. I will be trying on all six of the shades towards the end of the video, and these will be linked down below as well, but Makeup Forever describes these as an innovative, bold lipstick that provides long-wearing, show-stopping color and endless creamy comfort. These retail for $27 Canadian or $22 USD. They have a matte finish range, and then they also have satin or creams. Makeup Forever kind of refers to them as both in different places, so it's a little bit confusing. I would definitely consider them a cream, though, and those are available in 31 shades, and then the mattes are available in 15. Two of the shades, from what I could see, are limited edition, though. So they are split into five different color families. Those are nude, pink, red, berry, and artistic. And then they also have some kind of guides and things to help you choose like the right shade for your skin tone, like the right berry or the right red. I'm kind of just like, meh, I'm gonna wear whatever color I feel like, but if you are looking to choose like a more bold shade, that's definitely a helpful tool. So for packaging, I think they did a great job on the packaging for these. Definitely put a lot of attention to detail and definitely a huge step up from their old lipstick packaging. They come in a very sleek black tube. They have like the little Makeup Forever logo embossed on the top here and then there's like a silver ring which makes it very easy to open and then this little silver part here has the Makeup Forever brand name embossed in it as well. Just for a quick comparison this is what the old Makeup Forever lipsticks look like. It's just like a shiny plastic tube that's a Makeup Forever professional on it so this is definitely an upgrade. Also the smell of these lipsticks was awful honestly like it has like a very like baby powder synthetic chemically scent. I hated the scent of these. I don't know anyone who liked them. And the scent for these, I can't really put my finger on. It's kind of like a light citrusy scent. I've also heard some people say it's kind of like rosy. They kind of remind me of the Bite lipsticks, but more subtle, and the scent isn't overpowering at all. So I'm definitely happy with the upgrades they have made to this collection. It just screams like high-end, good quality artistry brand, and I think that's really important. One of my favorite things, though, about these lipsticks is how the bullet is cut. It's so sharp and precise. I specifically have not used this shade, so I can do a close-up and show you guys exactly what I mean and show you how it comes just such a nice crisp fine tip they really just give you the ability to get the perfect clean crisp edge and line on the outer area of your lips you definitely don't have to wear a lip liner with these which I really appreciate I think everyone does everyone wants you know like a nice clean lip line they don't want it to be smudgy or like kind of undefined but for me in particular this is a really great feature because when I still had acne I broke out a lot on my lip line and I do have little gaps in pigmentation so the fact that I can get such a nice clean edge with this is like everything to me so let's talk about the pigment and how these lipsticks apply Honestly, these lipsticks blew my mind the first time I applied them. I went to just, you know, like casually swipe it on like normal and I was just like, like, what? I'm not joking you or exaggerating. I stopped dead in my tracks because with one light swipe, like hardly applying any pressure, it gave such full opaque pigmentation and color payoff. I know a lot of us are probably used to like going over our lips a couple times with lipsticks and you do not have to do that with these lipsticks. You apply them and they're just like, hello, I have arrived. Here's your pigmentation. I do only have one of the matte shades, but even the matte shade that I do have just glides on so effortlessly. It doesn't like tug or drag or skip on your lips at all like some other matte formula as well. Makeup Forever also says that these lipsticks will have an eight hour wear time and like they stay on exceptionally well. I don't really have anything else to add. They are extremely long wearing, especially for how creamy and comfortable they feel on the lips. But I'm gonna start trying some of these shades on. I'm gonna do this a little bit different and like apply them on camera so you guys can see just how amazing they are. And just kind of like chat about the colors with you guys. So I took off the lip color that I already had on. This is just my natural lip color for those of you wondering and what I was wearing before will be in the description bar down below as always. But I'm going to start off with this shade which is C502. Makeup Forever describes this as a taupe violet. Like I was saying, I haven't actually tried this shade on. Lavender and like light purple lipsticks tend to look really bad on me. So you can see that gives such a full color payoff. So 
that is what C502 looks like on. The C at the beginning of the shade name denotes that it is a cream or satin finish and then the ones that are M are a matte finish. Don't really love the color on me, like I was saying, these kind of shades just look really weird on me. But you guys can see just how pigmented that is. And I think the shade range is a great option for the more artistic shades because they have like a blue and like a mint green and even a white, I think. And when it comes to colors like that, you really need that full pigmentation or it just ends up looking kind of like sloppy and kind of weird, honestly. Especially with shades like this, like other lavender lipsticks I've tried have not been pigmented enough for me. And what ends up happening is you can see the redness from my lips around the edges and it just looks awful honestly so definitely if you want a shade like this go for Makeup Forever. The next shade I'm going to be trying on is C105. Makeup Forever describes this as a grayish beige. Also I did just lightly powder my lips with a translucent powder in between because I am removing these with my cellar water and I just want to make sure there's no moisture on my lips. C105 looks like comes up a little bit more pink than beige on me just because I do have that natural rosy tone to my lips But it's really nice. This has definitely been one of my favorites. You guys know me I love my nudes, so I have been wearing this one the most for sure Definitely a really great pale nude for like really smoky dramatic eyes like I'm wearing today next I'm going to be applying the shade C211 makeup forever describes this as a rose wood And they also say that this shade will be universally flattering on all skin tones bad job applying this shade but this is C211. It's not my favorite color to be honest like it is like complementary with my skin tone and everything but it's just like not a shade I would reach for all the time. It has kind of like almost a hint of mauve on me. I just don't tend to reach for shades like this that often. I either go like really like deep like red or like berry or like nude. The next shade is M401. This is the only matte shade I have and this is described as a hot red. This one is in collaboration with Iconopop and it is a limited edition shade. It's just kind of a classic red and as I'm sure you could see the mattes once again do glide onto your lips Perfectly flawlessly. It definitely does have a different feel on your lips than the cream finishes They're definitely a little bit thicker and they feel like they're really not going to budge at all I'm definitely giving off some weird Christmas vibes with my like green smoky eye and this bright red lip Definitely would not wear the shade with this eye ever, but it is a really nice classic red. So unsurprisingly, M401 is a bit more difficult to remove since it is matte and it is a very bold pigmented shade. You can see it left a bit more staining than the other shades. But this next one is C506. Makeup Forever describes this as just a dark purple. This is another one of my favorites. It's a really pretty berry shade. once again don't make fun of me applying lipsticks is like the thing I'm actually worst at in makeup but this is what that shade is looking like if I wanted to be like super bold and dramatic I would wear this kind of berry lip with this eye but it is like really intense but definitely a really great shade for like fall and winter time this is the one shade that I have that is a little bit less pigmented than the others you'll see in the close-up that I do miss a little bit of pigment around the edges and finally we've got C603 this is described as a midnight blue and it is a deep intense kind of navy shade this one is also limited edition so if you want it snatch it up definitely love this shade. I think navy lips are so cool. So great if you want like a really intense lip but you don't want to go for like a straight up harsh black. It's something a little bit different but in like lower lighting it's still going to look like super vampy and badass. Because this formula is so creamy the light kind of hits it and I feel like it almost looks like a tiny bit teal which I really like. So that is it. That is my review on the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge lipsticks and the six shades that I own. Once again these will link down below. If you are VIB and you still have an opportunity to shop the VIB 
sale for Sephora, definitely check these out. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. They are just a truly all around phenomenal lipstick formula. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Rianne on all three. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here. But I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.